My name is Giles Newland Bowman and I'm an assessment design manager for an awarding body. Yeah, so I work in assessment design management for an awarding body who produce the GCSE and A level exams. Um, so the role I have is to, to do with making sure that the it, assessment is reliable and also valid. Um, so basically that means that it is testing the correct things in the correct kind of way. And also within that we need to make sure that all of the exams are compliant with all of the regulations that have been set down by, by 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 of call. I think what I like most about the job is understanding what makes assessment to be good. So obviously I've taken exams, I was a school teacher for a while and I don't think I really thought too much about how the exams were constructed and the work that has to go into making sure that a question is appropriate and is going to achieve what it is expected to achieve. So spending a lot of time understanding what makes a piece of assessment work is very enjoyable. I know, and I quite like the teamwork that has to has to kind of go into creating the exam papers, and also the sense of achievement when the exam paper has gone live and students have completed it, and everything's gone smoothly. Uh, so I was a t -t 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 teacher for thirteen years, and then I decided that I wanted a career change um, out of teaching and the organisation I work for now we're advertising for a head of curriculum position so I uh, applied and got that job which was quite good because it was using a lot of the skills I had gained as a school teacher but uh, was not being a teacher anymore and then from there I then uh, applied for the role as an assessment teacher design manager and transferred across within the organisation um, but I think a lot of it came from my experience of being in the classroom and having been a teacher which gave me that understanding that I would need for this job. I think that the best thing to do is to do some research and actually look for different kind of careers and different kind of jobs because I think at school very often you learn about the most obvious job role, so like, you know, teacher, lawyer, doctor, and that's great and fine, but actually what I think what I've discovered as I've got older is that there are so many other careers and so many other job roles that actually I've never heard of, like, you know, there are people who design, like, um, food and biscuits and things, which, who knew that was a job? And I think actually if I spent a bit more time thinking about what jobs actually exist that might have changed the career path I'd taken. But I think you just, so I think it is about spending time having a look and seeing what opportunities are out there rather than just going for the most obvious things that you hear about all the time. I think I've had many stammering achievements all the time and actually it would have been easy to say no or to hide because of having the stammer. Um, so when I was a student, I was quite involved in student politics, um, and we went to the uh, uh, to the LGBT conference, and I stood up and uh, 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 and did make a big speech there. Um, so there would have been about a thousand people, I guess, and maybe maybe not quite that many in the audience, but it would have been easy to not have made the speech. Um, 
and it was fine. I, you know, I, I did ask for a bit more time because I had the stamina, and I did tell everyone at the start of the speech, you know, I, 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 I do have a stamina, so um, I, I might get stuck on some words or whatever. So they it did give me extra time, uh, which was fine, and it, yeah, and I think that was quite an achievement really. But I think even just in like a day-to-day -day, day -day basis, it's, it is just those small wins of having the confidence to actually pick up a telephone and make a telephone call. I think that is still the hardest thing for me to do. Um, so when I do get the confidence to do that on a daily basis, I see that as a small win. Yeah. Had my time I have that. I think I probably actually, I probably actually has. I think although I. I'm quite confident. I think there are times when actually I've probably shied away from certain things and probably thought um, maybe I shouldn't try to do that because of having a stammer. So I think that, yeah, absolutely, there's probably been times that stammer has held me back. However, if I didn't have a stammer, it would, be, it would be just be something else. It would be, there would be, because there would be something else that was encourage you to say no when you should say yes. Um, so unfortunately I think the stammer has, there have been times when the stammer has held me back, however I'm quite happy with what I have achieved and I think that maybe they weren't the right things for me anyway. So yeah, so I think having a stammer is part of, is part of who I am and I've embraced it and I'm very open and honest about it and it is part of me. Um, I, there are times when I wouldn't want to have my stammer but I think actually if I didn't have my summer then I probably wouldn't be completely me either.